Ooh, welcome back, you guys. My name is Gamer Boy, and here today's game we're gonna be playing. It's called Nobody Saves the World. And if nobody's gonna save the world, then I'm gonna save the world, of course. And I don't know what this game is, of course. Like, I do know a little bit of it just because I went in and saw what the game was a little bit. And I do know that you're able to go and change into these various creatures and beings and things and all that and get different powers through that. So that is a cool mechanic. I don't know what the story is, but I am just going to start my adventure and start on a normal difficulty and... Um, was that, um, a dream or, like, what? Okay, first of all, I'm gonna make sure that I collect everything because I know when I t tried this, I did not do much in anything. I am gonna explore before going to where I need to go because I do know where exactly I need to go, but I'm not gonna go there right now. I'm gonna just do what I want to right now. So I can't do anything with you, can talk to you, but I am not going to. I'll probably talk to everyone at some point, but right now I'm just not. Oh. So it's only in my house, I guess, that I get um, anything for... Oh! No, apparently I am able to... Before any before I go into there, because that's where I need to go and everything. I'm just not going to go there right now. I'm just going to do what I'm doing here and make sure that I am able to. Yes, I know. Those are the guards not that not. Le Those are the two guards that won't let me pass unless I get the ability to ch transform into a creature or being that is able to pass. So, right now, I am not able to do anything. I am currently just able to pick up the random money and currency things that are around here. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just collecting the stuff and everything. So, after I pass the um, two guards and everything, that's when I don't know what I'm doing. I just am... Exploring a little bit because I know I didn't do that when um, I was testing so I want to make sure that I I talk to everyone and that I am doing what I need to do just to make sure that I Know what's going on and what's happening Um, okay, oh I get oh so so I am able to go into the houses and and like, like, like Get money from... Oh, wait, move, you ostrich. Don't need the ostrich right now. So I'm going to guess that this is the knight's house and everything. This is, like, the knight's house. So I would be um, needing to talk to them when I go and transform into the actual character I need to get to. So, I'm a wizard, I guess, because if I'm supposed to save the world and everything, doesn't that mean that I'm, I'm like a wizard and everything? Because that guy did say that wizards can go and transform, so that, that is something. So, have I talked to everyone? Not you, of course. Okay, anywhere else I can go. I'm just making sure that I, I explore everything because I do know that by exploring everything, I do un reveal the map. And that I did not know. Revealing the map, I did not know that I was doing by, by exploring. So I think I should do a lot more of the exploring after I 
get my powers and everything. After um, I get my powers, I should be going and doing this. So, I'm gonna guess that Randy is supposed to be the one trying to save everyone, but because of how Randy is, Randy doesn't want to go and investigate too much and is a little bit vain and everything, or very much vain in how they portray themselves and everything. Makes sense, and, um... Okay, so it seems like by doing little tasks, I'm going to be leveling up my character. Really did not pay attention when I was going and doing what I needed to do with the, um, with, um, okay, so I did that. So do I get to upgrade, like, oh. Um... Okay, I guess. So, um... By doing this, I get to upgrade my my character. Interesting. So, um... Can't really do anything. Oh, I had to examine everything. Okay, makes sense that I had to do everything. So basically, every time I get a level up, I get to level up the character, and the more level up that the character has, like, like the rank goes up to, like, I guess an S. If I get high enough S rank, I guess, I get more of the, like, special characters, I guess. That's what it seems like right now. Like, like if I play as the rat and then I get a B rank, I get to unlock this character. But if I get a C rank, I get a guard and this character. Interesting, and I'm gonna guess that these are characters that I'm gonna be able to... Oh, re for purchase. Oh, okay, so those are actual, um, extras that, that are for, um... Okay, so, yeah. That makes sense, like, you're able to get more, um, characters and things like that. Yes, I don't care. Don't need the tutorial. Really don't need it. But 
I get why. I wish there was like like a way of like not doing the tutorial and everything. Like I wish there was like a button to where you could switch it off and not like do the tutorial and everything. But whatever. Let's just get to what we need to get to and give me the money and let's just keep moving forward. I know I will be needing to make sure that I don't get hurt, but I will be needing to do this well. And so, okay, you need to not do this. Get away from me, get away. Would like it if you could just leave me alone. Thank you. So does everything give me money or does certain objects that are only breakable give me money? Because it seems like that's what's going to happen. Like only the breakable objects give me the money and not, and I'm not sure if every breakable object gives me money, but it does seem like every breakable object does give me money. But I'm not really sure on what the money does, so by collecting it right now, it seems like it's going to be a good help. And being that this is the first dungeon, I understand that it's not supposed to be too difficult. And can you not hurt me? That would be fantastic, and I understand why you go and are on the easier side. This is supposed to be a test dungeon to make sure I know what I'm doing, how I'm supposed to be playing, and how things are within this game. So, the more I am able to... Okay, you, I am not liking because... Okay, am I able to go and at all, um, like, heal myself or what? Because I would really like it if I could heal myself. Um. Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to heal myself, but it seems like at some point I will be needing to heal myself. Don't know how that is possible, but maybe if I collect the food or something, I, that's how I level up or something. Not level up, but heal. But I'm not really sure. Okay, so yeah, collecting the food actually does heal me, so that makes some sense. Oh, so I can hold the button down. Okay. Really need to pay attention to what I can and cannot do. Because I really was not... Okay, thank you. It only took me dying once to figure out that I can hold the button down and everything. Don't always want to just because it seems like it, by um, holding it down, it doesn't go and give me... It, it has a recharge feature, so if I hold it down too long, it's not going to be good for certain abilities, it seems like, so... Okay, you? Just leave me alone. Let me kill you. Come on. Thank you. Really don't like the fact that I'm getting hurt a lot, but if I do this correctly, I should make it through. Okay, so I unlock another ability, or what? Um, okay. I don't know why I needed to press a button when it should have done it automatically, but whatever. I'm liking the art style of this. I really like this. It, it gives me feel of, like, guacamole and everything. It gives me the feel of, like, guacamole. I understand that this was made by the same company or developed by the same company. I always get those two mixed up. Developed and created... Basically, I get confused on and everything, so you guys just leave me alone. Don't like the fact that you can hurt me, but I am glad that I am collecting money. I am glad that I am collecting the money that I do need, and I do want to make sure that I don't get hurt, and I just did. For you guys, I... Oh, okay, so you reload slowly, so that, that, that is something. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. That would be fantastic if you did that. Leave me alone. Thank you. And you're just gonna try whatever you can to get to me. And you're not someone I would like to mess with right now. 
But I do know that if I do this, I can hurt the enemies with the objects around. So that's a good thing. Okay, leave me alone, please. Just leave me alone. I don't like you. Thank you for at least dying. Glad that I don't really have to do much for like like killing the enemies and everything. Like I can just run through like a gauntlet of like stuff like that of what I just did and I could defeat. So what do I do? Okay, so I have to escape from the basement and do a jailbreak. And I for this one I need to okay. Okay, so I have to hit a certain amount of times to be able to recharge some abilities. Makes sense, so then you're not like overpowered and everything. Makes it so you're not overpowered and I do like that. Yeah, I know, I completed an, a, an achievement ability thing. But let's just get to where we need to get to. I know I need to do that. And I will be collecting the stuff. Yes, I know, I don't care. Why are you telling me I have to? I don't know, but I... Okay, is there anything in, like, the options? The uh, options... Yeah, there's nothing in the options, and... Wait. Really? Can I get out of the options? Thank you. Did not know that I could use the arrow keys. Did not know that I could use that... Or the directional pad, or whatever it's called. But... And this is... Oh! Okay. That's cool. So for here, I would like to... Um... Yeah, current quest. That's good and then I should just of course why wouldn't that be a thing for some reason this game loves to just send enemies at you this game just loves doing that don't know why but it just seems like games like this it seems adding more enemies is just a way of going and inflating the difficulty and I don't like that Thank you. I did not like the fact that I did. I had to. Um. Okay. How do I? Oh. I don't care. Do I really have to upgrade? I don't care. I'm just trying to press a. I know I opened it before. Thank you. This is what I was trying to open, and I don't know why I couldn't. So let's just get back to the area I need to get to. I guess. Now that I have done that, I just have to now escape or something, or what? Or do I have to keep fighting or something? Okay, so, um, yeah, I did not like what I had to do. I did not like what I had to do. I had to do enough quests to unlock them, and it seems like now I am able to go and move forward. I'm not really sure, but if I'm able to move forward now because I've unlocked more characters, then cool, because I did not like what I had to do. Did not like what I had to do, but let's make a checkpoint and let's just go of course so I need magic wands to be able to I see not what I would like but something that I technically have to do and this is I'm gonna guess the basement area and just like the wizards area of being able to go and train people I guess okay whatever Um, search for clues? Of course. So, basically all I have to do is... First of all, I have to go into here first time. 
Can, can I actually move for the things? Thank you. Oh, I, I actually can actually do that. That's good. I'm not trying to press the wrong button. It's just... Um... Yeah, let's switch into them. Then I would like to switch into them. Because I know I won't be able to transform unless I already have done it once, so. Okay, so I do do get the same type of dialogue and everything, so. Makes sense. What happens if I do this? Okay, so if I hold it, it charges it up and makes it so I, yeah. Okay, so wherever I'm standing, of course. Oh! Okay. I was just turning into this character because... Oh, to lock a direction. That's cool. That is cool. But... I am gonna leave this here, of course, just because... Wow, that one dungeon took forever. Like, it took me over an hour to just do that one dungeon because it kept telling me I needed to level up my character just to be able to continue. Don't know why, but it just kept telling me to do that, so... Yeah, I did not like that first dungeon, but I am enjoying the game so far. Like, what the game has and what the feel of the game is, I am really enjoying. I am really enjoying what this game has to offer, and I can't wait to see what's m next in my journey. But I just did not like that first dungeon. That first dungeon did tell you that you had to unlock the two characters that I just unlocked after the mouse and everything, so... Did not like that, but I can't wait to see who else I get to transform into, what else I can do, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, I am just going to leave this episode here, and I am just going to go see you! If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos, play me, give a boy, subscribe button, and I'll see you all guys in the next video.